What is going on everyone? Auto Endeavors coming back at you with another video today. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Ford F-150 Lightning's rolling chassis. So we're going to be taking a look at an article put out by InsideEVs.com. I will be linking this article in the description down below for your own viewing. However, we're going to talk about what it has to say. So basically what it says is, at one of the demo events, Ford showed the rolling chassis of the upcoming Ford F-150 Lightning all-electric pickup truck, which is a great opportunity to see some of the components that are going to be available in the electric pickup truck once it is released to the public. So basically, the F-150 is a body-on-frame type of vehicle. Ford took a rational decision to locate the battery pack within the frame. This is interesting because locating the battery pack within the frame is very different than a lot of the electric vehicles that are out today because most electric vehicles out today are made in a unibody style whereas ford decided to keep it traditional and keep it body on frame now this makes it so that the battery is very safe and very contained within the frame and it lowers the center of gravity and, and improves handling. Now, if you know anything about pickup trucks, a lot of people like lifting them up in the air, so that lower center of gravity is kind of interesting. But for your average pickup truck user who just buys it just to use it as intended, that is great because as most people know, pickup trucks usually score somewhere around a four star rollover rating on the crash test rating. That is mainly due to the center of gravity being very different than your average standard car. Now the battery pack itself is quite long and its rear part appears to have two floors of battery modules. The cells are supplied by SK Innovation. So there's plenty of battery put on board the Ford F-150 Lightning so there will be plenty of range. We already know the range numbers. Ford has already released those as of late or at least the expected range numbers and they are pretty decent considering the price and everything of that nature. Now, Moonrose Live send a Moonro called this pack isolated. Probably as it's attached solely to the frame, the pack should be easy to remove and replace or replace faulty modules. Although, let's hope it'll never be necessary. Well, considering batteries do wear out and the modules probably will as well, you probably will have to replace them at some point, just like in any car that has parts that need to be replaced. However, the fact that it's so easy to get to and kind of swap out or replace, that's a very good thing in my opinion because pickup trucks are very, worked very hard in industry and they probably will be needed to be replaced, especially if the vehicle is being used in construction or some other industry that requires heavy use. Although it's in the battery is in its early stages, the images shown are flat, probably due to the floor length, just like in the Rivian R1T. So it's a flat kind of design that they have the battery modules laid out just right underneath the car, which as you all know, the F-150 Lightning will have the front trunk or otherwise known as frunk. So that makes a whole lot of sense. Ford has stated that they have not released the battery capacity of the packs but there's two options in the f-150 lightning the 230 miles and the extended 300 mile range now these ranges are a bit lower than the top ranges of electric vehicles overall but again the price of the lightning is very desirable just right out the gate so I'm sure people will be willing to compromise just based on price alone. So before the battery in the front and behind the battery in the rear are electric drive units, each with an individual single speed transmission and inverter. This vehicle is all wheel drive with a peak hour power output of 420 kilowatts in the top version. An interesting thing is an independent rear suspension. As you all know, most pickup trucks do not have an independent rear suspension. They have a leaf spring rear suspension, and it's very different than most modern cars. However, 
with the F-150 Lightning, Ford decided to go with the rear independent suspension, which will make it a very different vehicle overall as far as its handling and its drivability. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but it will be an interesting thing to see once it is released. It says here the first of its kind in the F-150, which combined with lower center of gravity should significantly improve driving dynamics for the pickup truck. Electrification of the F-150 does not compromise the original vehicle. There is still a spare tire, but it actually improved it, especially through the addition of the front trunk, advanced power export features, and of course the all-wheel drive smooth and quiet electric powertrain. So overall, this is some interesting stuff, and this is some interesting look. We get to take a look at the actual frame and the power supplying of the F-150 Lightning. Overall, this vehicle looks very, very interesting, and it will be very, very interesting to see once it is actually unveiled to the public for consumers to go to their local dealership and pick it up. We will have to wait quite some time before we see actual results of long-term use. However, it's looking very, very good for the F-150 Lightning. So we will just have to wait and see what happens in the future as far as capability and usability. But overall, this is a very interesting look. Again, as we can see here, it's very interesting that we can finally see what it all looks like underneath the whole truck, which... <laughs> It's funny because usually you're used to looking at under the hood for what the power plant is, but you have to rely on diagrams such as this to see the full output and the full technology implemented in the pickup truck due to its entire power plant being put underneath the truck rather than in the front engine bay area. But yeah, guys, let me know what you all think of this F-150 Lightning, are you going to be picking it up? Are you interested to see how things turn out with this vehicle? Overall, it looks like Ford is taking a lot of different routes than their standard traditional F-150s as far as how they are going about building it and constructing it and designing it. So let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section down below. And with all that being said, everyone, until next time, we'll see y'all.